Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we will discuss the raster function option in ArcGIS Pro. The raster function contains multiple raster function tools. In this video, I will give you an overview of that functions. Raster function is located under imagery. As you can see, there are many functions available here. Now, first we need to know what is the difference between this and our regular geoprocessing tools. When you apply these functions, they do not create a new raster data. Therefore, they work faster compared to the geoprocessing tools. Inside the raster function pane, under system, all the available raster functions are listed into these subcategories. For example, under surface, we have slope, aspect, contour, etc. Under classification, you have your regular classification options. You can also search for a function right here into the search bar. Raster functions not only allow the user to have a quick look at the analysis result, but it also let you view and change parameters that control how the function processes data. Once you have used a particular function and changed its parameter, in project or in custom, you can actually save them for future use. Let's take an example. We want to calculate the slope. Once you select your input here, then as you click the create new layer, instantaneously it gives you the slope data right here. However, if you want to save all these parameters you can also save this raster function from here you can change the name or the description accordingly and then under category you can save it under project or under custom for best practices always use a detailed description whenever you are saving a raster function for future use next under the menu option these two gives you the display options gallery and outline you can also create your own subcategory where you can group all the functions that you probably use frequently you can also bring your own python raster function here and save it under one of the categories and finally we are going to show you how to use this create new template option this template option works like the model builder except you use these raster functions instead of geoprocessing tools you can simply bring your input data here and your function right here and then you can join them and ultimately you can save it as well when you save it you can again save it under project or under custom. Definitely put a description here. You can also, just like the model builder, put more than one functions here and make it a chain of functions. To recap, raster function is a great option for exploring your data or for visualization as it performs instantaneously and does not use up any space by creating a whole new layer. However, when you are deep into your analysis and want to keep your results saved, it is better to use your processing raster tools. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tesselations.us. So, subscribe and ring that bell.